How's it going, everybody? So I got a big prep for you, or not not a big prep, but a, a solid prep. Already started this video once, and I had to stop. Um, somebody's name came across the video, so um, in my email. But let's try it again. Uh, by the way, go to the description of the previous video. And um, at Telling Truth 2, I removed it from my Bible study channel and Telling Truth 2, removed it. I did it. Video is in description. Anytime you click description, uh, you go down to description. And there it is from the Telling Truth 3 channel. It's still there at Telling Truth 3. I don't mind that channel getting blocked for a week or two weeks or a month because it is the backup channel. That's why I put a lot of stuff there. And so it's in the description. And what I will do is also put that in the playlist. So oddly, it's now in the playlist. How's it going, everybody? I got some prepped items. It says one unavailable video is hidden. Well, it's been removed. But there, it, it's in the description of the third video. And I'll try to... I 86'd it. Maybe I need to remove... It's been removed from the channel. I don't know why it's removed, not removed from the playlist. But I'll try to figure that out. And there it is. Delete it. All I got to do is go remove it. Okay. So now it won't look so weird. That one is missing. All right, so let's get back and redo this prep and keep people's names out of it. So we go to the Prince football game where he was the feature of the halftime show, you know, all about the elevators and his songs. And then he dies in an elevator. Uh, could this world be any more weird? On 325's lunar eclipse, it is six years, one month, 21 days. You have 121 coded for the lunar eclipse. Doesn't mean he's going to go down on 323 two days before and rise up through that full moon, but he could. Uh, Ides of March is also a high watch day. Um, on St. Patty's Rising Day, it jumps to 2233. And you have 113 code, one month, 13 days, six years, one month 13 days you have uh, march 11th code and you have march 13th code with 73 months 13 days so 7313 6113 so that's a big deal because the prince score of that super bowl was 4 13 3 revelation 13 3 you see the 1 3 3 well, just get rid of the dash. You have 133 of Revelation 13.3, which is the first time deadly wound is mentioned. Deadly wound, but did live. So event or rising day, it should connect to. And of course it does. We can also run it to other time frames. Like uh, 421, two days before the April full moon. Not much there. We're two days before the May full moon. You do get 2298. By the way, if you run it to February 22nd, two days before this, by the way, 98 is the 98th verse of Revelation, the crowning Bible verse. So the May 21st, again, is a big deal. Let's run it to February 22nd. It comes up 2209. And um, that's a Corey, that is Groundhog Day of 2009, which was an enormous personal item. So that's, that is uh, extraordinary for me to see. Uh, and I do use personal codes and how I look at stuff. Uh, the illness was spelled C-O-V-I-D. Well, it begins with C-O, which is 315, which is the Ides of March. Just thought I'd take note of that. 
yes, Usher was wearing the Phoenix because it was all about the Phoenix rising when he came up out of that, whatever that was. Many said it looked like a diamond. And of course, diamond is a divine feminine symbolism. Alicia Keys, there's your blood on the dance floor. There's 88 keys on a piano. That is by design. Of course, 88 is Trump and Sybil Gematria, where A is 1, B is 2, and you see the blood on the 88. And her name is Keys. So you see what they did there. Of course we do. Michael Jackson had blood on the dance floor. We certainly need to take a look at that. In the dark night rises. We know that he does come climbing up out of a pit. And it says, but sometimes a man rises from the darkness, a pit where men are thrown to suffer and die. And in the Bible verse, it literally says bottomless pit. So here they refer to it as a pit and Bruce Wayne will actually climb out of it. Sometimes the pit sends something back. And of course, that's the Antichrist rising from it. And there's big short symbolism. Another movie Christian Bale was in, the big short. And they literally say, you can't short the stock because Bruce Wayne goes to a party. Bruce Wayne, played by Christian Bale in the movie The Big Short. It's Christian Bale in that movie also. So you see what they did there. And we, we do know an I pet goat. After the Deadly Wound event, it says markets crash war. That's Bruce Wayne's car tag in the Dark Knight. Rises 649. You have a 98 there, 8227. You do have February 27th. Uh, symbolism there. You have August 22nd symbolism there. which is 753. If you count July 53rd, I always look at August 22nd because it's two combined months, Julius Augustus, July and August, because September was once the seventh month. That's what September 11 is about. It's really most countries write it backwards from us or we write it backwards from the rest of the world. It was really about 11-7 and what rose up was One World Trade Tower. And so the event really took place on 11-7 in their world where they cryptically, October, octagon, octopus was once the eighth month. November was once the ninth month. December was once the decade, decameter. December was once the 10th month. So when I see 753, that opens up back to the future, all those clocks on 753. I always look, uh, to me, the first time I thought about it, I was like, that's July 53rd. And because I have a July birthday, I just know all about seven. So, but you know, could be absolutely nothing, but that is his car tag. Yeah. Anyway, let's keep going. So this 121 fused, this is the Dark Knight Rises. You see this 121 fused with 177? Well, it's 177 days between most eclipses or 176 days. And this particular year, there's a total solar and a ring of fire solar. The total solar on August 8th, I mean, uh, on April 8th, completes the X across America combined with the one on August 21st, 2017, in the exact middle midpoint day of those two solar eclipses was another total solar eclipse because it's 2,422 days between the two that make the X across America. Half of that is 1,211 days. Well, on day 1,211 from the first one, the exact mid midpoint, there was a total solar eclipse on December 14th. And that happened to be the day they had the first pokey poke. 
and also when Biden received his electoral votes. One week later to the day was the Great Conjunction, the Saturn-Jupiter event. But getting back to this 121 is Antichrist and simple gematria, where A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, Z is 26. So it's Antichrist fused with 177, which happened to be the amount of days between the two 2024 solar eclipses. We do now think this is the year. It's the year of the dragon. All of the dragon symbolism, girl with a dragon tattoo, skyfall with a right eye wound. He goes through the mouth of the dragon. Um, it was year of the dragon in 2012 when there was a ton of symbolism. Dark Knight Rises also came out in 2012. So let's continue. August 17th event. Hang on just a second. All right. Um, also in this prep is 817 prep. Let's take a look at this. Um, the Dark Knight rises to when he would possibly rise on the August full moon, because an IPEC goat, it shows him coming up out of a pit, literally through a full moon. The Dark Knight came out two days before the Dark Knight rises, four years apart, but still. On 718, the Dark Knight had its USA release, Porsche 911, Porsche 718. On 718 of 2008 was the Dark Knight release. Two days later, or on the third day, just like Jesus rose on the third day, on July 20th, 2012, the Dark Knight Rises. So he rose on the third day. The Dark Knight Rises came out. If you run the Dark Knight Rises release date to the August full moon, you do have 144, the symbol for the church, 144 months, 30 days, 12 years, 30 days, 12 also the number for the church. Here it, it is an IPEC goat, and it shows him. The Antichrist is three different people in this video. It's the man in the boat, where James Bond also stood in the boat, just like this guy, uh, when he went through the mouth of the dragon. So it's the guy standing in the boat is the Antichrist. Um so that's the Antichrist and I pet goat. It's the boy connected to the technology because it's through the technology that goes to the machine, the mark of the beast, uh, because they are in the technology. And like, like when Reagan was entered because she played with a Ouija board, they will enter through. The, remember, Satan is the prince of the power of the air through the air, through the technology where they are. Remember, Trump signed 5G and beyond in 2020 g500 which is the reverse g5 g500 is antichrist in strong's concordance biblically speaking then he's also the child with the right eye wound so he's all three and then of course he rises up through a full moon with that right eye wound, but here he is coming out of the pit. So you see what they did there. Um, one thirty-three below it says. Um, if I ever stop a video immediately, it's because I ran into something I didn't want on the video. If I don't sign off saying love you, because that's the easiest way to remove something you don't want seen. You just cut the end of it off. But the total solar eclipse to the August full moon is Revelation 13.3 or 133 days. Revelation 13.3 is the first time deadly wound is mentioned. Deadly wound, but did live. 
because he has seemingly risen from the dead, just like Jesus rose from the dead. Let's look at this here. Not going to get into that. Definitely personal ciphers. Uh, 38 murder code. Um, it's another personal cipher. Somebody. Uh, 38, of course, is murder. Somebody I know born on 621, 1963. Uh, probably since 2012, the closest person. Uh, I'm not going to get into it, but 2817, the 86th day, there is that 38 murder code. I'm not going to get into personal ciphers here. Um, there's another personal cipher. Uh, I do know somebody. Ah, I'm not going to get into that or get into that. But it it there's a lot of connections to that time frame. Um, somebody I know born eleven seventeen, nineteen fifty nine. Exactly seven, seven, seven months to the 86th day. 1117 is Zechariah 1117. Talks about the right eye deadly wound to the Antichrist. 11 times 17 is 187, which is why that's murder code in the entertainment world. And... Um, this person also wore number 45, which is Mr. Big's big number. So lastly, rises on the full moon of August 19th. The Dark Knight came out on 718. Porsche 911, Porsche 718, you see what they did there. The reverse of 718 is 817, or two days before the August full moon, which would take place one week right after the ritual on the day series, the Dog Star Rises, of the closing ceremonies of the Paris Olympics. The opening ceremonies will be on 726, which is Antichrist in English Gematria, which is fascinating. So literally, you know, per previous video where I show you that Donald John Trump comes to dog days of summer in five Gematria ciphers. Serious, the dog star rising on the closing ceremonies of the Paris Olympics signals that is the day Sirius rises. Or the dog, well, I'm sorry, that's the day that ends the dog days of summer. Sirius, I think, then rises on August 12th. Anyway, you see what they're doing. The new moon in August is at 712 Eastern Time, which is Mr. Big's time zone where he lives. No matter where he lives, that's, you know, whether it's New York or Mar-a-Lago or when he was president, that, and seven's the number for cleansing, 12's the number for the church. That's why the church is divided by seven. The full moon is at 425 or 1425 or 225. The score of the Super Bowl was 2, 225. Cryptically, Trump is 938 months and three days old on August 17th, which is 9383, 
38 is murder in gematria, 83 is murder in gematria, depending on the cipher that you're using. So, though we are looking big time at other dates before then, you just can't help but think the Paris Olympics must take place for the big ritual. Anyway, that's it for the prep. All right, love y'all.